video, as you can see, we're unboxing a new fox fork. Yes. <laughs> gnarly people it's your boy Vince from the gnarly cyclist welcome back to our channel and for today's video I'm so excited to announce that I'm unboxing something that um, ever since I got my bike I really wanted this upgrade but um, I just didn't have the money let's check it out you know, as you can see we're unboxing a new fox fork yeah, so um, I've been wanting this fork for quite a while now, ever since I got my bike, but I just didn't tr uh, pull the trigger. Because I said to myself that, you know what, um, I'm just gonna use my fork and just beat it up for now. But since we had the money, and then I saw someone, oh shout out to uh, Dirt Merchant at Pink Bikes. They also have um, a uh, website i'm gonna put it in the link down below and they're from boulder colorado yeah so let's get right into it this is the new fox uh, 38 170 fork the, uh, with a kashima coat so this is the factory version so i'm gonna use my trusty keys to unbox this bad boy done and um super excited you guys know if you have a bike or you have whatever and then you you guys are gonna do an upgrade you guys already know how exciting it is and then like the feeling this actually this fork arrived yesterday but uh, I was at work installing this one I'm gonna go to my friend's house because I don't have the uh, tools like the the tube cutter and the uh, the thing that you put the star nut in the steering tube or like the flower nut whatever you guys want to call it but cut to the talking let's open up this bad boy we only have one camera but I don't know how we're gonna do this so I don't know how we're gonna do this though you know what let's change some angles change angles all right you guys are in the top view I don't know if you guys can see me but it's time for the unboxing up the box so we have um, this from FedEx whatever it's my first time opening something like this I don't know how we do this but um this. oh okay that's the um tensions let's see if there's some tools here no tools we don't need that anymore just throw it away okay this is the fork. Just Shout out to FedEx. Ooh. This is so exciting. I haven't seen the thing yet. Let's do this. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm so happy. Um ugh. That's a bag. So here, oh here it is. I think that's all we're gonna need. <sighs> so there she is. Fox 38, bro. Well, let's switch up the um, the angle real quick. So here we are again. Um, front view. So from the start, oh, uh, let's start from for from this bag right here. The goodies. They have spacers, spacers, token, whatever you guys want to call it. For the fork, I haven't really played with them, but I, I know I placed one spacer for my suspension, my rear suspension. I have a Fox Float X2 with one spacer. What I read is like they help not to bottom out. It's still smooth and pro progressive throughout the fork, but once you reach like, like the part where you almost bottom out, 
just like a stopper, you know, a spacer, obviously. So that's what we have here. And then of course we have the um, a fox, a fox a sticker. And then my boys always do this because I've, I've, I've ordered my Magura brakes still at Dirt Merchant. So I am like tested and proven. They're really good, like they ship fast. And by the way, they're free shipping, so can't beat that. So they have free stickers. Shout out Dirt Merchant. You can follow them on Instagram too. And then here you have the star nut or the flower nut. And then you have the cable holder for the fork in front. And the manual, which no one would read, but I think I would read. I think. Now for the main event, let's open up this bed, boy. There she is. Whoa, it's lighter than I thought, but I heard this is heavier than the um, my Fox 36 that I have on my bike. So. I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the fork. I'm not really that deep, you no, know, like regarding the fork, but I'll just let you know what I know. All right. So we have the dampers here. The good thing about this is also the one reason why I bought this fork is there's a lot of adjustability. Um, they have um the black one is I believe the low compre low speed compression, and then the the blue one is the high speed compression, which is the blue one here. And then there's a lot of clicks, and then there's um like what I said, there's a lot of adjustability. Adjustability? Adjustability. Whatever. So yeah. And then as you can see, obviously the um the inner stanchions. This one right here is a 38, 38 mm or what? Yeah, but whatever. But the, the thickness is oh, that's weird. So the thickness is 38, and then if you see this things, I think this is um, I forgot what it's called. Um, I forgot what it's called, but um, the, what this does is if you go to higher elevation uh, trails, so what happens is like there's air like um stuck in like down your lower stanchion so what you do is you just press this once and then it release almost like it's like you're bleeding a break you want all the bubbles to get out it's almost the same concept so in order for you to have the full performance of your fork also this one right here i don't know if you guys could see like this tube right here for the for the 36 and lower they have like a round round thing here but for this one it's almost like an oval and what I saw in videos and on reviews and um, Facebook it's made like this in order to get like a stiffer and a lighter fork if that makes sense so but for me I'm I'm not a pro rider for sure I won't know the difference let's stop the talking because I'm so excited for the installation of this one uh, yeah let's go to my friends so house. here we are the bikes are set up so this is my old fork, the performance, black stanchions, but it's still a uh, 170, but it's the 36. And the Shiba code box, there you go, YT Capra. And then if you guys are wondering why I brought my road bike, it's because the friend that I'm going to is a mechanic. So I'm just gonna bring the bike there and then just let him do his thing, like a complete maintenance of my, um, my uh, Venge. So yeah, let's go. So we're here at the shop. Man's dead, you know what it is. Eric racing lang sa kalam. <laughs> My boy Eric. <laughs> Welcome back to the USA, huh? <laughs> Who's gonna work that? We're gonna put this bad boy here. And then do my road bike later. So that's my bike. Tito Manny's bike. Hey, nandito ba kay Francis? SL7. She. Oh, shit. Specialized to boss? Specialized to verge. 
and another specialized. Damn. All right. We don't know what's the name of that. But yeah, we're almost done, I think. <laughs> A few moments later. Finished product. So we're finally home. Not really my house, but I'm at my fiance's house because I need to do some chores. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, the bike is behind me. I don't know if the lighting is good because it's a little bit dark in here. What if I do this? I think it's ah, uh, whatever. It's better. And also, by the way, if the the camera shakes, I'm sorry about that because I placed my phone on top of a uh, the dog cage, which is uh, the other dog is inside. Because it's kind of big, so it's kind of like runs around the house. Fork is done. Shout out to my boy Eric Gaw. He's from um, the Chicago area. If ever you guys um, want conky, good. Sorry about that. If ever you guys want your uh, want your bike fixed or maintained or whatnot, hit him up. He's um, a mechanic at Eric's bike shop, and he also does um, sideline. You know, DM me, and then I'll send you his information. I'll show you the bike all right it for the video hope you guys liked and enjoyed because i know i did seeing the beauty i love it and then for the review for the fox 38 maybe i'll do it in a week or so because it's still pouring rain today and i'm pretty sure tomorrow saturday trails would still be wet and i don't want to ride the trails wet not because i don't want my bike to get dirty or whatnot but i don't want the trails to, uh, to be damaged because yeah just a little tip for you guys if your trail has a your local trail has a website and then they said you can't ride it because it's wet please don't because the trail builders do their very best to maintain the uh, trails and you don't want to damage it it's uh, sad for their part and also for you it affects you because the trails wouldn't be that perfect so yeah i'm gonna set up the sag and everything maybe later tonight and then yeah i'll let you know don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much to all our viewers and then yeah that's it always remember stay gnarly Ew!